Welcome back to the 2023 Twin Cities Film Fest. I'm Tiffany Norton, and we are on the red carpet interviewing more of our future filmmakers. And to my right is Max. And Max and I just met moments ago. Um, but Max, you know, I don't know if you could hear some of the other interviews. Um, was film, that's all right. <laughs> was filmmaking your first love or was there another art? Did you always know you wanted to be a filmmaker or was there another avenue of creativity that you were pursuing before filmmaking? Uh, heck no. Um, I hated movies for a long time, actually. Really? <laughs> like, going to the theater with my family was, like, the worst possible thing we could be doing. I always hated it, but just at one point in high school, like, sophomore year, I don't know, I was bored, and I was just watching these videos, like, Top Ten Movies by Stanley Kubrick, Top Ten Movies of the 60s. And I don't know, I was like, I'm bored. I kind of want to watch some of these. Kind of watch what are considered, like, the classic films. It just kind of sprung from there, like All a right. school project that was like really fun to make. And I was like, okay, this is what I want to be doing. I don't know where I'm going to go, but something in the video production filmmaking field is like up my alley. Excellent. So really it wasn't the film's fault. It was spending time with your family. No, good, exactly, good. Yeah. No, this will be great. When you win a big award, they'll, they'll, they'll re-air this uh, interview. No, I'm, sure. te I'm teasing, Max. <laughs> I'm teasing. Good. I love that. All right. Introduce yourself. Same question. Um, was there another creative avenue you were pursuing before filmmaking? Yeah. So I'm Martin. Um, I guess one would be architecture, but then I realized that was too much math for me. Okay, and fair. I just, I like movies. So I'm like, Let, let's try that. Okay. That's why I'm here. Was there a movie in particular that kind of really resonated? One one that sticks out more than another one when you were young? Um, not that I can think of from the top of my head. Yeah. Um, I just love movies. Yeah. yeah. I know. It's a fun escape. And it's so great. Okay. So same uh, question for you. Just introduce yourself. And then also, what other artistic avenues do you pursue with or around, or is it just filmmaking strictly for you? Yeah, my name is Emma. Um, I actually got my background, I started out doing photography, so back like summer before my senior year of high school, I started taking some senior portraits for friends, kind of just freelancing a bit, um, and I ended up working for a senior portrait company for a couple of years, uh -huh. and now I kind of do some freelance wedding, second shooting, and portraits, so started with photography and kind of got into film from there. Um, I'm studying film and media studies in college, so now I've kind of gone further down the film and video path and done a little bit of work in that area, but photography is, is what I feel like inspired me to really get into cinematography, which is the area that I'm most interested in now, thinking about the frame and how do you frame shots to best represent your subjects and all that. So. Absolutely, and I want you to really, really study that because there's a lot of help needed over here, cinematography-wise. Okay, question I've been asking everybody, if anybody can play you in a movie about your life, who would you like you to be played by, Max? My friend Alondra over there. I think she's a good actor. All right, Alondro, we've got a nominee for a fellow film. Well, you know what? Maybe this is the beginning of a collab. Well, it doesn't have to be realistic, you know? It can just be, it can be whoever you think can bring it. Yeah, exactly. I don't need, like, a down-to-earth, like, accurate portrayal of me. Just someone who's cool and can act well. I like, yeah. <laughs> I think that's a great answer. All right, same question. Who do you want? I would probably say my nephews, um, my 13-year-old nephew and my six-month-year-old nephew. Okay, I like that. So, like, you're already thinking ahead, like, you know, and then you can pay them less because they're family. Good, good. Keep the budget cheap. All right, who would you like to play you? I would say Julia Roberts. I love Notting Hill, so. Yes, ma'am. Okay, excellent answers. Great to meet you guys. Thanks for coming to the red carpet, obviously, and we'll be seeing you again, I'm sure, here. Uh, you know, hopefully premiering a film soon. Uh, it's the Twin Cities Film Fest 2023. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.